I'm Kevin Brewer from ArborJet, and today we're going to be going over the use and configuration of the F-Series tree injection equipment. Um, so first of all, in your kit, it's going to come with two separate size bottles. One's going to be a 600 milliliter bottle, and one's going to be a one and a half liter bottle. Um, and that's just for your convenience, uh, based on how much medicament you're putting into the tree. Uh, these bottles have a maximum fill line, so you don't want to fill them over two thirds of the way. You need to leave a little airspace in the top, and that's just to be able to get some pressure in there um, from the bicycle pump. Um, it will come with two or three um, six port hex manifolds for the injection needles depending on what kit you go with um, and you're going to use one injection site per two to three inches in tree diameter um, so one six port is uh, you know all six ports is good for a 12 to 18 inch tree if your tree is larger than 18 inches and you need to have more injection sites um, you can simply connect the manifolds together that the kit comes with um, it has a quick connect that comes with it. You would install that in the bottom of one of the six port hexes. Um, and then the two manifolds would simply just um, get installed together and then hooked up to the medicament bottle. And then to go back, you just disconnect them and they go back to being um, just the six port configuration. If you want to use less than six ports, the kit also comes with these little plugs and you can simply take out um, the unnecessary tubing and valves and then insert one of the plugs into the manifold to seal off the site. For tree injection, um, typically what you would do is once you have uh, all your injection sites set, um, all your IV equipment into the tree, and you've got your IV manifold connected to the bottle, um, what you do is put your medicament in the bottle, connect your bike pump, and then in the beginning you want to make sure your fill port is closed, and then you're going to bring it up to about 30 pounds of pressure so you can open up the valve on the top uh, let that lighter pressure go to the tree and then just make sure you don't have any leaks in any of the tubing valves or around your plugs make sure everything's seated well and then you can bring the kit up to full pressure which is about 120 pounds um, but again I like to start at a lower pressure to begin with just to make sure there's not any leaks um, and then you can bring it up to the fuller pressure once you've once you've confirmed that um, if you do have any leaks you can just you know, quickly turn this back off and that'll keep all the pressure and the medicament in the bottle so you can address whatever situation you may have. All right, so we're gonna go over the uses and, and function of the, the pressure cap on the F-Series injection equipment. So first off, we have a pressure relief valve on one side. Um, and this, this is set to about 120 pounds and that's just so you can't overpressurize the system. Um, on the other side, we have the quick connect for the pump to pressurize. Uh, that's just a quick, quick fit. So it just snaps right in. Once you hear the click, it's good to go. Uh, to, to disconnect the pump, you just push down on the tab and that comes right back off. In the front, we have the quick connect to go out to your IV system. And this is just another quick connect. You just push the hose in and that's gonna lock right in. If you need to take that hose back out, you push in, pull back on the collar and then the hose pops right back out. On the top is our open and shut valve. Um, so you want this closed when you pressurize the system and that's not going to allow anything out of the bottle. And then to allow the medicament to flow into the IV system, you would simply open the valve and let the product go in. All right, and then the last um, part of the uh, pressure cap is the fill port. So for the fill port, you would just unscrew this little part here. And then you can attach the funnel that comes with the kit. Um, pour in your medicament, then remove the funnel and snug down the cap again just to make a nice airtight seal. And then you're ready to go. As far as cleaning the equipment goes at the end of the day, um, you wanna triple rinse everything just like you would a, um, you know, a, a, a container before disposal. So I fill the bottle about a third to half of the way with water and you would flush out the lines and needles just one at a time. Um, you'd go through, you know, open one needle, let some water run through, flush it out, close it, go to the next one um, and so on. And then, you know, run all the water through it. And then you'd want to run a, a, a solution of the cleaner through the kit and then rinse it with water one more time and then run it out so it's just kind of air in the lines. And then, you know, you can store these in a, you know, in a baggie. And I usually just leave the valves open so it doesn't retain any extra moisture. Okay, that wraps up the uh, basic use and configuration of the F-Series tree injection equipment. If you have any other questions, you know, feel free to reach out to your regional technical manager, um, or you can reach us through our website, arborjet.com. And also, you know, feel free to follow us on social media for other helpful tips and tricks of the trade. Thank you.